Hi, my name is Jocelyn Johnson and I'm a managing partner at WJ Business Specialist. And today we're going to talk about filing basics. I get a lot of questions about how to do a filing system. Um, for a lot of people, they find it very daunting to try and organize all of their documents. And what I find as an organizer is that it's really important for you to be able to put your hands on an important document when you need to. So I'm going to go over a few of the tips that I give when I'm creating a filing system. Um, to start, we're going to go over the supplies that you need and we're going to start with you your hanging file folders. So um, it's always important to get um, hanging file folders. Um, they come in a variety of different colors, um, patterns, and you can really have a lot of fun with this and create a system that it that looks appealing to you. And then the next thing that we need are your manila file folders. Um, this is what you're going to put all of your documents in. And then of course you need your labels um, so that you can go ahead and create um, your naming system. So uh, we have all these, uh, these tools here, and the next thing that I suggest that you do is map out your naming system. Um, and when you're in a small office, this should be done in the order that you think of it. So when you're thinking about a subject or something that you need to file, you label it in the manner that you think. Um, if you're in a larger office, you want to create a more systematic um, naming system because you're going to have multiple people accessing it and they need to be able to find it in a manner that makes um, some sort of logical sense to the office. Um, but we're going to focus in, on a, small, in a, on a small office or a home office since that's where most of the questions that I get come from. So when you're mapping out your um, when you're mapping out your system, you can literally take it to a pen and paper. Um, you can go ahead and start typing out your headers or writing out your headers that make sense to you, and then writing subcategories under underneath each of those. So um, for this, this is just an example of mixing um, some personal and some business together, which happens often in a small business or a home office. And then from there, you want to go ahead and begin creating your labels. So to create your labels, you can go online and um, you can go online and you can go to a, um, you can either go to Microsoft Word or you can use like uh, the online system. So for instance, Avery is what I usually use. And so I go to Avery and I will download the template based off of the product that I'm using. And then when I download it, Avery will create a template for me. So now with this template, I can go ahead and add in all of the different um, subcategories that I've mapped out on my paper. So once I put in all of these, I'll go ahead and get them printed out, which we've done here. So we have everything printed out and ready to go. And then you can take one of your files and peel it right on off. Stick it right on your folder and you are ready to file. So once you have this, we're going to go ahead and go over to the, fi to the filing cabinet and take a look at how this should look. Okay, so over here at the filing cabinet, we can see that we have a couple of different files. And one point that I'm going to make as I put this in here is I think that um, a lot of people try to rib all of their tabs because it looks really neat. Um, however, it's really difficult to, to find something when you're trying to look from front to back as well as across the side. So what you should really focus on doing is, is putting all of your tabs all the way on the same on the same row from front to back. That way it makes it very easy for you to find your what you're looking for. And um, for a visual aspect, you can put your um, your subcategories on the other side and again from front to back, everything in the same row so you can easily locate what you're looking for. And so once you've created all of your tabs and all of your subcategories and everything is, is labeled, you can go ahead and start dropping them in. I usually drop everything in in chronological order. That way I can um, find it very easily. And when you're organizing your documents inside of your inside of your files, it's really important to determine whether or not it, it matters that it's chronological or it doesn't. So for instance, if you're filing something like invoices or bank statements, you would want to file those chronologically. And that way you can always drop the last one in the back and you'll have or in the front and you'll be able to find them very easily. Um, but there are other documents that you might not need to create in that order, such as maybe your insurance documents, which you can just go ahead and drop in a file. Um, but this way, you'll be able to locate everything as quickly and effectively as you need to. And that would be how I would set up a basic filing system. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Filing Basics. You can find more tips on our website at www.wjbusinessspecialist.com. And for more information, you can also visit our blog.